Hey girls, and welcome to week two of the five minute flower challenge. Hopefully you loved last week's project. Now this week we're gonna do something quite different and much more simple. We're gonna focus on using some really light, airy botanicals just to add a bit of greenery and brightness to your home with minimal fuss. So this week we're gonna create some really simple little bug vases to scatter all around your home. We're gonna be using this beautiful Queen Anne's lace that's in season for us right now. But if you don't have this where you are, you can also use something really light and airy like baby's breath that always looks really fun on its own. Or something like these colourful yellow lily balls that dry really well and so they always look the same. And what makes that really useful is that you can pop them all around your home and you don't even have to worry about water. Just make sure whatever you choose is nice and airy as we don't want anything too heavy for this week's arrangement. So all you need for this week is a handful of fun little bug vases, or if you have any old jam jars lying around the house, they're quite perfect too. So we have a mixture here that are all different heights. Some are a bit taller, some are a bit chunkier, like this mason jar, and also some really tiny little glass ones as well. To get started, we're going to fill each one of them up, maybe about a third of the way with water. You don't want these overly full because you don't want too much of the stems to be submerged underwater. Just enough for them to get a drink. For this week we're keeping things really easy and we're going to fill up our little jars full of this beautiful Queen Anne slice. So to get started, We're just going to clean up all these stems and remove all of that excess greenery. Definitely to remove any leaves that fall below the waterline, but also to give our Queen Anne's Lace a bit of a nice, clean, airy look. I love using Queen Anne's Lace, not only because it's so delicate and whimsical, but it's just got such a vibrant green colour, which looks as amazing on its own as it does mixed in with other flowers. It's as simple as taking these beautiful individual stems and cutting them off into individual usable pieces. So for instance, this little branchy bit here is perfect, just on its own. You take that off a little bit shorter. Just pop that in there. And this longer piece, we can use in a taller vase. And the trick to keeping this really interesting and dynamic is to play around with the length of the stems. It's really sweet to have some really short, puffy stems in the little short bars like this one. But also nice to mix it up with some of the taller ones as well. Just one or two stems in every bars is more than enough. The aim of this week's arrangement is to keep everything really light and airy. So now that we've got all our vases filled up, you can cluster them into an amazing centerpiece for a dinner party or just to your dining table. And it's just a matter of clustering them together, stacking at different heights until they look good to you. Well, my favourite way to arrange them is just to pick them up and scatter them all over your home. Well, I hope you enjoyed another week of the five minute flower challenge. This week was as simple as it was beautiful. And don't forget to jump online to the five minute flower squad if you have any questions at all and to share your projects on Facebook and Instagram. From the team at Bloombox Co and myself, have a beautiful week and we'll see you next week when Mel takes over week three of the five minute flower challenge.